Hi everybody, just a short video today to look at a couple of tools that are going to help us when it comes to working with fonts. So let me uh, let me explain. We'll get started and it'll make a little more sense as we get into it. I've got a drawing right now that just contains four pieces of text, four text strings. Uh, all four are M text, and they're all four created in a unique uh, text style. So to look at those styles, I've got the names listed as part of the text but I'm gonna type in the command style and it will go through and it will show me that in the note style that's currently using an Aladdin font, summary is using a font called horsepower, tables is using a font called Breen catcher and titles is using a font called Staubach. Okay, so four different fonts, four different, uh, four different styles. Now, the first command that I want to show you is a, a tool that will help us in the event. These happen to be four custom styles that don't, don't ship with Civil 3D or uh, AutoCAD-based applications. So in the event I were to send this to someone and I didn't include the fonts or wasn't able to include the fonts, when they opened it up on their end, Civil 3D or their AutoCAD-based application would have to have some mechanism to resolve these text font issues because they're not there uh, in an elegant way so that... Uh, you know, they still get text and they don't get error messages. The ways that that is handled is through a command called font alt. So if I type that in font alt and I look down at my command line here, it says enter new name for font alt uh, or period for none. But the default is simplex.shx, which is a style that's kind of based on the old Leroy lettering system. So what that means is when we open Civil 3D, if it can't find a particular font that it needs, it will automatically substitute it with simplex.shx. So let's try that. I'm going to go ahead and go to my control panel here. And in my control panel, I'm going to uh, make one of my fonts go away so that it can't find it. So I'm going to go into fonts. We'll come down to the one for horsepower, which is the one that's currently being used by my summary. So we'll come down, we'll find horsepower here. Uh, horsepower regular. Now when we're working with fonts, one important thing to, to note is there'll be a name on the font, but the more important thing is if we right click and look at properties, we'll drag this up a little bit, I need to know what the actual name of the, the actual font file is itself, because we'll be seeing that that is what I'm going to put into the, uh, the value where it was simplex.shx, I'm going to actually use horsepower.ttf if I wanted to use that to replace it, but um, you need to know what the name of the file is here, not the, uh, you know, uh, this is the actual name. This would be more like a logical name. So in this case, I'd like to remove it so that it can't find it. So we'll go ahead and delete that from my system. It's gone. Now, Civil 3D by, by default, let's do a regen here. All right, sometimes if we do a regen, it'll, you know, it can determine that those things are out and display it. If not, I'll close out a Civil 3D, and when I bring it back, we'll see that this one down here at the bottom, the summary text style that relies on that horsepower uh, text style, or that, that font, uh, will automatically uh, display as simplex. So we'll close Civil 3D, we'll go ahead and relaunch it. I didn't need to save my file because I didn't make any changes. The only thing that I changed was the uh, actual value, or uh, I deleted the font, uh, so uh, no, no changes to the actual geometry at all. So let's go ahead, Civil 3D is back up. We'll go ahead and click on Open here. And we'll open our fonts file. And when we click Open, we see that the file down here, the, the text string at the bottom now, has been replaced with the value that was set in Font Alt. All right, so uh, anytime we get a file from someone, if custom text or a particular text font is not able to be located on our system, Civil 3D will elegantly replace that with uh, the value that's put in font alt. So let's try this. Uh, I'm gonna look at another text font here. We'll do, uh, let's come down, we'll find another one here just so we can go through the exercise. Control panel, we'll go to fonts. We'll take and find one here. Uh, oh, we'll do, Bernard MT Condensed. I'm going to right-click on that, go to Properties. Here is the uh, the value for that one. I'm going to highlight that, copy it to my clipboard. I'll use that as my replacement moving forward. So we'll come down, we'll say Font Alt. I'm going to uh, Control-V to Paste. 
we'll hit enter and now if I do a regen it automatically updates any text that's currently leveraging the font that's dis the that's defined in font alt it's displaying that for us on the screen so um, traditionally if we're gonna have it swap it out with something else the simplex works pretty good because it's a pretty lightweight font uh, nice with respect to size and that so we'll go back into uh, font alt and we'll set that back to simplex.shx okay and we'll do a quick regen so um, great tool now it's uh, it's resolving an issue for us in that that if it can't find a particular font uh, it will replace it with this everywhere what if we wanted a little more flexibility all right for example I can find these fonts but maybe I'd like to replace them with something else uh, maybe I want to do it for performance maybe I'm working back and forth with uh, another individual and they've got particular fonts that they use I'd like to switch it up on my machine to use something else for my purposes but not actually change their file uh, what we can do is we can create kind of a masking or a mapping to map fonts from one font to another so if it sees a particular name it re will replace it with something else so it's kind of like font alt in that it allows us to replace something that it can't find in all cases with something else in this font mapping I can replace fonts that it either can or can't find uh, any of those names that are that are used in particular and replace it with what I would like so instead of it being an all-or-nothing type thing I can be more selective so let me show you this we'll say um, and in our particular case right now it can find three and one that it can't it's swapping it out with our other value in uh, font alt here let's go ahead and I'm gonna go into options if I type it correctly here if I go into options I'm gonna come into uh, text editor dictionary and font file names and I'm gonna come down to a font mapping file and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, uh, double click on that and we should find a file here acad.fmp which is our font mapping file so I'm gonna highlight that right click and say open and we see that there are some mappings in here by default but then I can create my own and the way that it works is I'll go ahead if you remember for the four from the four original styles that I had I can type in uh, Aladdin is one of the fonts that is currently defined in my file and I'm going to replace that with something else uh, so we'll do replace that with circus uh, ornate dot TTF and then I could come down and do that for the second one the third one and the fourth one uh, rather than you watching me type that I'm going to copy and paste it from a file I have off here to the side so we'll take and paste that in these are my four um, fonts that are currently defined in my file once again horsepower is currently can't be located but that's all right uh, what this will do is it will look here first see if it sees the font and it will replace it with whatever I specify in the file so we'll go ahead and hit enter close out of this file we would save changes cancel out of this we'll say apply we'll say OK and I'm gonna try regen first we say regen all right didn't update at that time sometimes it will I found sometimes it doesn't if I get out of civil 3d and then come back in it will work out just fine so let's go ahead we'll drop out of civil 3d once again I don't need to save changes we'll go ahead and bring civil 3d back up again and when it comes up and we uh, open that file we should see that it will have swapped out our fonts with totally different fonts that were specified in that font mapping okay so we'll come up we'll say open I'll grab the font file here we see what they look like by default we'll click on open we see that now they've been replaced with four totally different font files all right um, so it can be very very helpful like in this case even though the original one wasn't found it looks at the mapping table first and it will map it to something else if we go in and we look at style we can see that horse horsepower cannot be found uh, the other ones can but they're currently being swapped out with the uh, the value that's in our table okay so let's do this I'm gonna go into options just to take and flip it back we will go to text editor font mapping double click on this will open we'll take these out of my list for right now now my overrides if you will for my text fonts have been removed we'll save that file 
apply, say OK, and if we regen, still didn't grab it, that's OK. We'll go ahead and close. No need, no need to save. We will fire back up Civil 3D. And we should see our fonts go back to the state that they were in before. All right, with the exception of horsepower, because that had been removed. Let's go ahead. We can take the option here to open fonts. We'll say open. Our values have come back. The uh, overrides, if you will, have been removed. So these go back to the defaults. This one currently still can't be found. Um, using like eTransmit or something like that, whoever we received the file from, they could have transmitted the file to us. If I needed to load it on my system, if it wasn't something that was proprietary or whatnot, that I, I had the rights to do that, uh, what I would do is I would find that particular true type font. I'm going to double click on it. It's going to go through, give me the option to install it. So we'll install that on my system. It's now available, so Civil 3D should be able to find it. We'll go ahead and uh, try a regen first. All right, doesn't do it. All right, one more time, we'll drop out. We'll come back in, and we should have our uh, file back to its original state. So go ahead, we'll give that just a moment to open. We'll come up to the top. We'll say that we want to uh, open once again the fonts file. We'll say open, and we see all four values now are back into their default state. Okay, so when we're working with our models and our models contain text, we've got options using the one command font alt that we can supply a global text font to use that in the event that for some reason Civil 3D or any of our AutoCAD based applications can't find a particular font, it will automatically swap that out. By default, that is simplex.shx, which is kind of a Leroy type of a old lettering type look. However, we can supply any font that's currently available on our system to have it swap it out with that instead. If we would like to instead maybe refine that even further, we can set up some overrides, probably the best way to look at it through the ACAD.FMP file. And using those overrides, whether the font is located on our machine or not, we can take the name of the font we would like to override, uh, follow that by a semicolon and the name of the the actual font file it should use and it will automatically swap those out. And like I said, in most cases we can do it with a regen, but sometimes we have to close the, close the application, open it back up for it to stick. All right, so with that, I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.